Well, Israel is retaliating against Gaza after attacks by Hamas has killed more than 900 Israelis. More than 500 Palestinians in Gaza has, all, has also been killed. More than 2,200 rockets launched as armed Hamas militants also raided towns, going door to door, executing innocent people. At an Israeli music festival over the weekend, 260 bodies were removed from the desert. Never seen something like this. I've been in wars, in two wars in my life, and never seen, seen anything like this. They didn't care if you are a man or a woman, you are young or old man. They are killers, they are murderers. The State Department saying at least 11 Americans have died in Israel. U.S. Embassy staff are now under a curfew from 8 p.m. until 6 a.m. and banned from going on any personal travel. A Hamas spokesman saying if the shelling continues without warning, they will begin executing Israeli hostages. The deadly conflict between Israel and Hamas is just a few days old, but the United States is already promising additional support to Israel. Israel is seeking a resupply of weapons from the United States, including interceptors for its Iron Dome missile defense system and more artillery rounds. The defense secretary already announcing on Sunday that the U.S. is sending a carrier strike group consisting of several warships to the region. Certainly this complexity of an operation, something should have came out of Gaza, either through human intelligence or signals intelligence that indicated it was going to happen. Lawmakers are receiving intelligence briefings, but without a Speaker of the House, they can't introduce any new legislation. Republicans will huddle behind closed doors tomorrow as they discuss who will become their next Speaker. Kevin McCarthy says he is open to the position again, if that's what members want.